Well, it had started raining harder a moment ago, and so I stopped to put my rain jacket on before it rains even worse or harder. And then everything gets wet inside my pack as I'm digging through to get my coat. I've got about a mile to go, about a 700 foot drop, and we'll sort it out from there. We may, we may just take an easy day today. Not that today was very easy, but it'll be a short day. But we, we got in at 7.30 last night, a long day, but we reached our target goal. But with this weather coming in, I think we might be smart to, to wait it out. Not that tomorrow's gonna be any better, but at least I'll be rested. Not that that helps. Well, sometimes it helps. I had to put my, my, my chin strap on up there I was gonna lose my hat but uh let's get this day on I've wondered oh they have boards on the top of mountains that's because it's a it's just a rock a solid rock and and the water just sits up here and just to give you an example you step in and boom look at that I'd sink down almost down to my knees how about that so here, the, the board is disappearing, and so I'm not taking my chances. But as you can see, it's raining. I didn't quite make it to the shelter in time, but could be worse, could be raining harder. I am almost there, so I'm not completely wet. My raincoat is helping me a little bit. So it's usually about this time, I try to find a cheery song. But at this moment, I can't think of one. But perhaps when I'm sitting in the shelter listening to the raindrops fall on the roof, I might be inspired. Well, the trail goes down to the left of that Kieran there, into the trees there, and then we're gonna come up, and if you can see, these must be about that sneaky, look, that's the, that's the trail. It's out of the screen going up over that hill. Boy. I don't know why, but this weather always reminds me of country western music. So here's an old ditty from Willie Nelson. Kind of cheery, in kind of a lonely, pathetic way. I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter, make believe it came from you. I'm gonna write words oh so sweet It's gonna knock me off of my feet And with kisses at the bottom I'll be glad I got them <laughs> See, I feel better already Well, the trail is becoming a little river Now normally, I would place my I'm up on this rock, rock here Now normally I would place my foot right there But not today I'll have to take a bigger step. Well, it's Monday morning, July 28th. We stopped early yesterday when that storm, it was wet and cold. Just heard thunder off in the background here actually north here where we're headed it's supposed to be spotty off and on you know it's storms thunderstorms thunder showers but i stopped early because we got some adventure ahead down below this mountain is the mahusik notch and it is one mile of zigzagging up, over, under, in between large crevasse and boulders. It's gonna be a spectacle. It's gonna be, it's gonna be unique. I don't know how much we'll see, but we'll see enough in front of us. 
to be able to understand. Sometimes they say down below year round that there is frozen ice all year round and deep in some of these uh, crevasses will be bouldering through. It's like the hardest longest mile on the AT. So I wanted to hit it fresh. And a lot of scooching and dragging and lifting and carrying, taking off your backpack and dragging it, throwing it. So it's going to be energetic and entertaining and I'm going to try to video it as best I can. So I, the reason why, even though the weather is not so great today either, at least I'm fresh and get through this. And been a little slow going here for me out of Gorham, but uh, I had a good day, but my pack is getting lighter, so that's good. So onward, let's go see what this Mahusik notch looks like. I'm really excited about it, a little nervous. Sounds like a lot of work, but it's going to be exciting and fun, so let's go get to it. I wanted to take this moment to point out that often when I'm backpacking and I reach the mountaintops in bad weather, it can be really windy and the audio is sometimes really difficult to detect if impossible. But I assure you it's more about the dramatization of the weather itself and the difficulties and the exposure in these high mountains. I know in Tennessee, up in the Rhone Mountain region there, I was pretty blasted by bad winds and storms, and yesterday as well. So, you know, please understand that my mic is built into my camera. Yeah, as I'm shooting video here, and, and it's hard to, to muffle the sound and block the wind, and it's just all part of the action up here. You know, it's, you, you, there's no getting away the, from the wind sometimes up in the top balds in the high peaks in the alpine area until you drop down and back below into the tree line. But, uh, you know, sometimes you're out here caught in a web. There's no escaping it. I've heard thunder for a little while now and I couldn't quite make it up as far as its distance, whether it was, you know, paralleling us, coming towards us, going away from us, but it's definitely headed our way. So we'll see. It's not fast moving as of yet anyways. So let's see. Uh, I put off doing the Mahusik yesterday because of the storm, stormy weather, and as as crazy it's going to be, you know, all this, you know, climbing, bouldering, rock climbing with heavy pack and and uh, and more it's it's gonna be exciting and and well it's just a second crappy day in a row and this is the way it is out here and you just gotta suck it up and and deal with it I was hoping for a nice day but it's gonna be sunny tomorrow tomorrow sort of it's gonna be sunny on Wednesday and Thursday for sure so something to look forward to in the Mahusik it's going to be interesting, so I hope I can video it well. Well, the good news is, is that <clears throat> that thunderstorm, the front hand, head of that storm there passed us just north of us and came as it was getting closer, a oh, granite. It, it was ahead of us enough to where I got closer and then, then passed us, cutting across our trail. But the the actual storm behind it is large enough to uh, it's it's just starting to rain right now. So I knew it was going to be crappy today, you know as well. It wasn't raining when I woke up, but then it started raining and it's just kind of off and on. So going through the Mahusik Notch, climbing up over those rock boulders and under and up and over and <coughs> for everything that uh, it will entail looks like I may be doing it in the rain anyways but at least I'll be fresher than yesterday I have le obviously less miles to travel before I get there and therefore uh, yeah be rip roaring ready to go well, let's get there well it's raining like hell 
And I guess we're here at the Mahusik Notch. And this is, I've got, you know, cliffs on both sides. And boulders everywhere. Wonder what that X means. But I see, a, you know, the trail is going up that way. Onward ho. We might have to, uh, you know, develop uh, a dance. The, the Mahusik Notch. And I'm just not sure, you know, do we shimmy to the left, shimmy to the right? Should we just use the words to um, the Watusi? An old, is that 60s, early 70s? I'll get back with you on that. That, yes folks, there's ice. There's ice here from the winter. It's, it's almost August. And look at that. You may see a lot more of that, but check that out. How about that? Who would expect that? Damn, it's a pretty isolated place. And again, more ice. Well, the Muhusik Notch is a mile long, and it's like this. I'll have to take my backpack, go under rocks, go over rocks. There's some more ice. Look at that, yeah, way down in there. But uh, yeah, they say it's the longest mile. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna take, you know, some people two, three hours. I think it's gonna take me four or more. I'd say more in the rain like this. These rocks are really slippery, so I really gotta be safe, gotta be careful, because one bad slip and that's it. Well, who we? Let's do it. Not this. Not you. the way we go. Oh yeah, it looks easy. Sure is beautiful. But I have to say, I really do believe that my years of rock climbing is coming into play here. And I'm knowing where I can grab onto, put my feet, what will hold, what will not hold. Just the fact is I got a really heavy backpack on and I'm dragging trekking poles along. Sometimes they help, sometimes they don't, and I gotta throw them ahead. That's really steep. I have no no choice but to get down on my butt and and scooch my my myself down there. And um, I didn't mention, but uh, my my shorts are wearing out on the on the seat on the back end from you know slips and falls and scooching. And uh, yeah, I think by the time I'm done with this uh, Mahusik notch, um, my shorts will be done too. I'm going to be you know exposed. Here. I'm going to have to traverse across this ledge. Got these little trees that could be in my way with my backpack. You know, you get turned around when your back gets your backpack snagged. Got to get over to that ledge there and then leap over to that one. Scoot. You know, walk down there and probably shimmy down that back side. to video this if I drop the camera I may never find it again and it damn sure it could break like my last one back in Virginia all right just trying to get to the real feel Mahusik Notch you gotta shimmy to the left shimmy to the left shimmy to the right you shimmy to the right you gotta wiggle your butt wiggle your butt into the daylight I also wanted to mention, 
if I fall down there, I'm gonna get really hurt. So I really gotta be focused. But yeah, with all that, this is the right side. We were looking at the, the rock face on the left side a moment ago. So you, you wonder where all these rocks come from down here, huh? So it's a mile along this uh, Mahusik Notch. And uh, geez. Yeah, we damn sure didn't even go a half mile yet. I'll tell you that right now. We're just getting started, but I gotta be safe and these rocks are slippery. So let me map up my next moves. I think it's gonna be that way. That little, that little lip there will work. I'm gonna need both hands, mom. Isn't that a cool cave? I could go hunker down in there, but it's cold. There is a lot of ice in here. The temperature just dropped dramatically I would say that there's ice everywhere underneath this damn but that's it we came from way up there and uh, and beyond but yeah this is challenging interesting it's tough in the rain I didn't go that way I changed my mind I went I went that way look safer well let's get this going damn it's cold this is incredible. I just did a, like a 20, 30 foot elevation climb. And right here, I could feel the heat. The temperature was so cold. I could see how a person could get uh, hypothermic down in there. But uh, just climbing up that 30 feet into uh, this less cavernous, there must be tons of ice down in there. It is cold. But uh, moving right along, having fun yet? Shimmy to the left, shimmy to the left, shimmy to the right, shimmy to the right. We do the Mahusik Notch. Yeah, baby. Doing the Mahusik Notch. Yeah, yeah. Shimmy to the left, shimmy to the left, shimmy to the right. Shimmy to the right. You're doing the Mahusik Notch now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Doing the Mahusik Notch now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Shimmy to the left. Shimmy to the left. Shimmy to the right. Shimmy to the right. You're doing the Mahusik Notch now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Doing the Mahusik Notch now. You gotta pivot. Don't 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 don't. You gotta pivot. Don't 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 don't. Pivot. Don't 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 don't. Pivot. Don't 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 don't. Life doesn't get any better than this, folks. Come on, let's be real. Ducks and frogs and hikers. <laughs> Doing the Mahusik Notch now. This is fun. See, I found a way to make it fun. Now I'm turning it into a song. <sighs> and you will find no moose poop in the Mahusik Notch. Da -na 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 -na. In ma the Mahusik Notch. Na -na -na -na. Shimmy to the left, shimmy to the left, shimmy to the right, shimmy to the right. You gotta pivot, pivot, pivot sometime. You gotta scooch, scooch, scooch sometime. The Mahusik Notch. The Mahusik Notch, you find no moose poop. You find no moose poop. You know, there's moose poop everywhere else, but I'll tell you one thing, you'll never find it in the Mahusik Notch. I guarantee that. No friggin' way. 
That way is impassable. I tried that and that one doesn't look so good. I actually look like I have to go underneath here, so uh I've got a scooch. And you gotta take your pack off and drag it. And drag it. Oh my goodness. I guess Folks, we came from up under there. Who we? That was interesting. Sometimes you have to crawl. Just crawled out of that little hole right there. <sighs> Doing the Mahusik notch. Yeah. 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 You'd say, oh, that one's so bad. Did you try it? Looks like we're going under again. Well, let's get there safely first. Wow. This is interesting, to say the least. I gotta put you down. Damn. I think I broke a nail. <laughs> well, sign says that way. I just took my pack off again and had to push it in front of me as I crawled crawled and pushed you know through this very wet mud hole under a rock yeah I'm still having fun damn I sure hope my dry clothes are still dry because I'm gonna need them later I can't wait to get out of here though to tell you the honest truth and I'll be happy if it stops raining too because This is really, in the rain, it's pretty difficult. It's pretty difficult not in the rain. It's really challenging. I'm really cold and soaking wet. But this is the way, you know, I chose to go hiking the Appalachian Trail. All right, we'll get through this. Well, I'm glad you all are here with me, at least. Yeah, you know, misery loves company. And I mean, it is fun. And, you know, we're doing the Mahusik Notch, babe. Now, 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 now. Still battling through the Mahusik Notch, and look what I come across nailed to a tree. Peanut and Pumpkin Laughed and Loved, 1981. God bless. It's really kind of up. A lot of people probably don't even notice that damn thing on that tree up over there. Somebody probably would have bagged it, but pretty cool. Well, I do believe that that is that. I could have crawled on my belly faster than that. Ah, you smell dry land. Where there is... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Where there is no dry land. I really hope that my dry clothes are still dry. That was incredible. Holy smokes. And it's been raining nonstop. Pretty much all day. Damn sure all the way through the Mahusik Notch. But, uh, well, I hope the song um, takes hold. It did help me through, well, part of it, anyways, but after that you notice I wasn't singing joyful songs anymore, because took a few slips and uh, got, my, got my leg uh, wedged under a rock when I slipped, and, you know, and it really hurt. And, uh, geez, it's a real good thing I got strong bones, because uh, I have taken a beating. Well... Let's see where this day ends for us. I'm ready now, but I, I'm gonna stop as soon as I can find a good place to hide under the rain and eat something and sort it out. I'm not gonna get a lot of miles in today, I'll tell you that. According to my watch, it's, it's 3.03. 
let's see what we can do. There's a shelter up here. Still probably pretty far. Bad time to be crossing rivers. I hope it ain't too slick. Boy, I lose my footing. And it's no telling when I'll stop. So I better focus. I see no other, no other better way to cross. I think I'll be all right. I hope I'm going the right way. I think there's a mark there. The AMC really does a shitty job marking the trail sometimes. Oh well, I had said it. My opinion. Damn. I wonder if that's water way up there rushing over a fall. Something's really white. Well, here we go. Wish me luck. Well, it's five o'clock. It stopped raining. So I was able to stop and eat something. I haven't eaten anything all day since uh, breakfast. It's just been raining like hell. And getting through the notch was just my number one priority. Now I just climbed Mahusik's arm. And once I crest the top, I just have a mile to go to a shelter. Geez, I hope there's room in the inn. And I hope I have dry clothes. I just checked my, uh, my thermal top is dry. But, uh, Oh my goodness, what a tough day. I'm gonna get to there as fast as I can, eat me a really big hot meal, and jump, you know, put on all my dry clothes, take off all my wet clothes, obviously. Everything, socks, I mean everything, put on. I have a full set of all dry clothes, underwear, long pants, thermal top, socks, and I'm getting underneath my poncho liner and uh, and that's that for the day so another tough day the rain really makes things difficult and this is two days in a row well let's get moving on Well, here's the pond, and the storm's rolling in again, the next wave. I tell you, I made a really good call of uh, stopping when I did yesterday in that storm, because I never would have made it here yesterday. Oh my God, and there was no place to camp. I would have been in a really big, I would have been in really, I would have been in a lot of trouble. And uh, so anyways, we're really close here because it's on the friggin' pond. Can't tell how big this thing is. I can barely see 30 feet in front of me, but I'd say for all intents and purposes, we're here. So I'm gonna mush on before, before the storm opens up on me. God, I hope there's room in the inn. And I really don't want to set up my tent. Well, at least I'm here. After last night, I'm second-guessing ditching my sleeping bag too soon. That was some rainstorm. Everything is soaking wet. Everything. I'm going to call this, uh, this, this hostel down the road about less than five miles from here. All my clothes are drenched. The golden rule, put your wet clothes back on. The wind chill was 32 last night. It is still cold. I'm up in the clouds. I'm actually, I'm actually in the, at Speck Pond. This is the Speck Pond Shelter. This is actually the highest pond in the state of Maine. Not just the AT, but the entire state which I think is pretty impressive. It stormed all night long, and as, you know, through the Mahusik Notch yesterday, and really all the way until I got here, 
was just really cold and rainy so I'm really cold right now there's a strong wind going I've got about a 500 foot incline which will help warm me up my toes are pretty numb right now and I've got my dry clothes on and I want to call these people at the lodge and confirm that they can accept me today and I want to dry out all my stuff and, and start fresh tomorrow with a sunny day tomorrow because it is still really cold. I'm in the clouds. The cloud is just coming by right now. So, yeah, I'm really on the fence about it, but I just can't imagine putting on those clothes right now. So what I think I'll do is I'll pack them up at the bottom of my backpack, just, just free just just put them in the bottom because everything is wet in there anyway so I'm just gonna put them down in there and pack up everything and put my wet boots back on and get moving and perhaps when I go up and over that mountain get some heat going and down the other side start you know dropping down in elevation and uh, out of this wind and everything up here in warmer weather perhaps I'll stop and uh, then put my my wet clothes on as a safety precaution because really up here you really gotta have a set of dry clothes you do you do so I'm taking a big chance here but but uh, as far as the way I do things but I feel that I really want to go to this hostel uh, today and just get everything dried out and start fresh tomorrow with a sunny day because like I said I am really cold all right well you got to start with a plan and uh, as you can see I got my dry clothes on my wet boots but my cell phone is always in a plastic a Ziploc plastic bag in my guidebook with all the references, mileage, water sources, phone numbers, contact information, shuttles. My hat is still really wet, but I'm going to put it on and and it's going to help uh, insulate me anyways. I still so I got to put this away, put my rain uh, my rain cover on my backpack, put my wet put my wet raincoat on it's been drip drying as best it could but but it also is going to serve as a windbreak so you know the sun is just trying to peer out oh my goodness what a storm well there's a lot of wet hikers out there i guarantee that so i'll be putting this on last after i get my pack squared away and uh well you gotta start with a plan i i pre-charged my cell phone battery it was getting low so i had my backup battery pre-charging it this morning a little bit so that when I go to use it I have no service here when I get up to the top or even on the other side of the top sometimes that works one side or the other the top or the other side and I'll call this lodge uh, and uh, yeah see if uh, they can uh, accept me and I can stay there and uh, dry out all my clothes and and uh, and start fresh with a sunny day tomorrow so that's my plan and that's why I'm wearing my only dry clothes it's less than five miles away to that road it's a tough hitch they say that's why I want to call in advance hard to time these things but I want to reach out at first so that's my plan so we're gonna go and because uh, I am starting to really get cold I was cold but now I'm really cold with my wet boots on so once I start uh, packing we got a uh, backpacking and I, I got an incline to do so that's gonna warm me up and we'll take it from there and that's you gotta start with a plan and be ready to be flexible and change it so that's it Godspeed. Kirk out.